Hello, good afternoon, ladybugs and yellow jackets, fox gloves and snapdragons. Welcome to this Sunday's episode of Handmade Home Shopping here on Faye Productions. I am your host, Fairy Princess Lolly, and we are here this afternoon with a whole new lineup of great handmade vendors. And before we get started, I just want to say the realm of Faye lives in and amongst the very land of real with all of the humans. And I know that many things are crazy out there for a lot of people right now. So whoever you are, wherever you are, please stay safe. And while you are here with us today in the realm of Faye watching our show, please know that you are supporting some really hardworking, great people uh, by watching being here and also shopping with these handmade vendors. And please hit the like and subscribe all of their information is in the low bar on Ye Old Book of Faces and YouTube. So if you are looking for them after the show or anything to that effect. Uh, also, we do have comments, a comments section. I can see your comments. And if you have questions or something that you would like to ask to a vendor, uh, please feel free to chat back and forth with us there. And I will pass them along as I see them, uh, as I see them go by. So. Uh, with with that said, uh, thank you all for being here, and uh, I would like to int tr introduce to you our first vendor today, who it, it's Aiden. Lady Aiden, did I say that correct? That is correct. Okay, so um, Lady Aiden, and you are from the Cedar Wardrobe, and I'm I'm. This is your this is your SCA designation, and so that means you're from a kingdom. Please introduce yourself. Give a shout out to your kingdom, and uh, tell us tell us who you are and what it is that you do. Uh, my full name is Lady Aiden Ingen Kanetha from the Barony of Lonely Tower in the Kingdom of Kalantir, and I do uh, custom made medieval garb. Well, all right, we are off to a good start. Are, is that some of your garb that you have made that you're wearing? Yes, I've made the hat, the chemise, the bodice, and the skirt. Oh, wow, everything, basically. Yeah, <laughs> That's much, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, so uh, do you have some of your stuff with, with you there today that you would, I'm gonna, can I turn the camera over to you and let you talk about your work and wares? Sounds good. All right. So right now, uh, because of everything that's going on, a couple of my featured products are masks. I've got uh, Olsen masks for everyday use. Uh, this one's a small, they come in about six or seven sizes, extra small to extra, extra large. And then I've got slightly more period plague masks made out of fabric. Oh, uh, those one's... are cute. <laughs> Yep, uh, they come in quilted or simple. The quilted are more expensive just because they take a lot of time. They may not take much material, but they take a lot of time. And then I also do undergarments. Uh, here, I've got a bum roll. Oh! And, oh! For all of the ladies in the court out there, the bum yep. roll. <laughs> I do stays and corsets. And I also do children's clothing. Oh, that is adorable. That tiny little doublet like that. No, it looks so cute on him too. <laughs> <laughs> and then for custom closings, uh, if you have something that ties, you can either do, I've got corset lacing or I also do loose braiding. I don't know how well this is showing up on the screens. It's kind of uh, we can we can see it. Okay, um, yeah, it's just yeah, a narrow we can see it. braided cord. What is your what is that wrapped around there? Is that some kind of? So uh, this is the lucette that you use to make it. What is a lucette? Uh, it's just uh, it's it's like a horn. It's like a fork. And let me situate stuff. I'll give you a quick demonstration because it's pretty simple. Yeah, fascinating. And I've never seen whatever it is that you are doing. So this is cool. Okay. 
And so this is what you make the, the ties with that you use in like the bodice that you're wearing. If it's requested. Is that what you're doing? If, it, if it's requested. Yeah. It, it does cost extra because it takes forever to get the right length. Gotcha. And what is it, what is it made out of? Can you hold it close to the camera to, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if you're able to do it close to the camera. It, uh, I can try. Uh, it's just crochet cotton. I, I find this super fascinating. I've never seen anything like this. And so that is very cool. And, and it just speaks to the cool historical accuracy so now can you talk a little bit about about where you take your designs or patterns from did you design them yourself are they uh inspired or based off of something or uh literal replicas uh you know from times of yore it depends on what the customer wants um if you can send me a picture of the kind of outfit that you're looking for i will try to find uh historical patterns and then pattern it from your measurements. So we have a question from the audience asking about where you got that lucette. I, I've never even heard that word. So I, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I hope I am saying it correctly. <laughs> um, I think I got that one from uh, Master Edward Boycewright, who unfortunately has passed. Um, but if you go on to Etsy, there's a lot of people who make them. Okay, uh, can we take a look at your, you have an online website here. Can we take a look at your website? Yeah. Okay, uh, so this is, and this is uh, where people are, should best shop with you here is yeah. what we're looking at, the Cedar Water. Wow, this is cool looking. <laughs> I'm very excited, it just launched on Wednesday. Look. Well, congratulations on your awesome new website. That's wonderful. Look at this, this is so cool. I think this mask, this fabric mask, I have not yet seen anybody do these. And so uh, I, I think it's- I did not the pattern. Um, the pattern is from McTreelith on Tumblr. Uh, she, has the down she has the pattern for download on her uh, Tumblr for free. They are so cute though and cool and I love them. And this Marauders map? I have so many fabrics for the Olsen masks. Uh, there, there's no way you can see all of them on the website because there's just too many fabrics. <laughs> Where's my image? Come here, image. Oh, I think my okay. my hmm. computer. Oh, I think my computer was being slow. Uh, so there is a measurement form, and this is what people would use when in order to get you there. Does the measurement form include instructions on how to measure one's own self? I actually need to make a video for that. Um, I do ask if you have any questions about what any of the measurements are, send me an email and uh, just okay. go ahead and ask me and I will gladly try to explain my best. <laughs> and so here we are. What is this one? What a, a coat hardy. What is a coat hardy? Uh, coat hardies were more common in the, oh, I'm trying to remember the centuries, uh, beginning of the 14th century, I want to say. Uh, they were kind of like an, uh, you wore, women wore a kirtle underneath and then the cotardie was kind of like the overgown. Uh, men also wore cotardies over doublets. I'm saying it wrong, wrong, cotardie. <laughs> it, it shows you, even even though I've been doing this for, for many years, there is an endless amount to learn. Oh yeah, there's always more to learn. I will, I will be the first now, what is the I do not know everything. Uh, what is the difference between a corset and a stay? So corsets will actually shape your body. Uh, stays are more support. Okay. That makes perfect sense. Wow, so this is great. We are, so we are, this t takes us right to our 10 minute mark. I'm gonna go ahead and exit away from that. So all of your information is going in the ticker below and is in the low bar as well. Um, thank you so much for coming on the show today and sharing with us your stuff. And I love hearing your knowledge about all of the things that you 
things that you do um, and stuff that you have made. So uh, off to a, a great and cool start this afternoon. Um, and you are participating in the magic word. And the magic word for this week is verdant, V-E-R-D-A-N-T. And so for those of you watching from home who have never, uh, never participated with us before. What that means is if you shop and order with the Cedar Closet here in the next week at your checkout comments, use the magic word verdant. It lets them know that you heard about them through our show. And also it gets you a surprise little bonus gift to go with your order just to make it a little bit more fun and special. So uh, thank you for joining us, my lady. Thank you. Yes, is there anything you'd like to say before you go? Uh, nothing I can think of. All right, then enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I and I guess that's the end of the weekend. So enjoy the rest of your <laughs> Sunday <laughs> and have a good one. Stay safe out there. All right, you too. All right. Ah, uh, yes, okay have hit the button. There we are. So that that is great. Off to a good start. And let us move on then to our second vendor of the afternoon. I want to make sure I have the right, right person. We are looking for Polish pink design. I see you there, Kitty. Hi. Yes. Hi, I can hear you. Hello. Good morning. Uh, oh, I said it wrong. Is it pink Polish or Polish it's pink? Did I say it? Polish design, like nail oh, polish. Po yeah. Polish, not Polish. <laughs> it is a I'm sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, please uh, introduce to uh, introduce yourself to everybody and where, tell tell us where you're from and what you do. Absolutely. So um, I'm the artist behind Pink Polish Design. Um, I do ink and watercolor illustrations and um, then make handmade items out of those uh, like prints and note cards and stickers, oh, cool. cabinets, all sorts of little things um, because I understand that art is wonderful, but not everybody has the wall space to display original art. And so I feel like it should be very accessible and used in our day-to-day -day lives. So um, I, I grabbed a few of my more recent ones to show off. These are the originals here. In fact, this one, I just painted this last week. And, and Let, allow me here to embiggen you and give you the whole screen. Oh, awesome, thank you. Yes, there you go. Adrift. Um, I really like fantasy imagery and strong females because I feel like um, we are not always happy and smiling and we can be fierce and we can be sad. So um, this is another recent piece um, in Darkness Bloom. Um, and then uh, Rampant Growth. So these are all oh. girls that I painted in the last few months. Um, basically during quarantine time, I've been getting a lot of painting done. Uh, so lots of lots of fun stuff. Um, as I mentioned, I do cards and prints. So you can get prints in eight by tens. You can get prints in eleven by seventeen for select illustrations. Like this one's. Oh wow! Or maybe hold that one up. Hold, hold, yeah, hold it close. You do everything back. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm yeah, I know. <laughs> there's a mermaid piece this afternoon, and that'll be up in my shop this next week. Um, and then some fun facts real quick about my cards. Uh, my cards are actual art prints that I mount on the front and they're all oh, wow. signed and numbered on the back, just like my full size prints. So you can frame them. They will last a very long time in the frame. They're all very vibrant colors because they're actual prints. Um, and in fact, very shortly here, um, I will have mats in my shop that fit these if you wanna give a card to a person and then also give them a map that they can put it in a frame. Makes it really easy. Wow, that that is a cool little bonus right there. Do you have any cards? Isn't Father's Day coming up? Do you have cards that you think would be good for Father's Day? Absolutely, so I have uh, a lot of octopus illustrations and then I'm working on a set of beetles. It's like I did not plan on this, so forgive me for something out of the camera, but I'm working on a set of ink drawing beetles 
that will be available um, in the next couple of days in my shop. Kind of fun. Those are cool. Shall we take it? Shall we take a look at your shop here online? Absolutely. Okay, let's let's do that. Let me pull it up really quick here. I I always say really quick, but I feel like that's not actually how it happens. <laughs> Okay, here it is. To load quickly. <laughs> yes. So here now, these here that you have up top, your pea sprout. These are cards, garden inspired. <gasps> snails. I yes, love snails. those are beautiful. Awesome. I can those up. I actually draw every day and post something to social media. So if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you'll get to see my daily posts, which don't always make it into a finalized illustrations that are pretty fun. These are wonderful. Thank you. I love it. Yeah, definitely. All of the stickers you oh see gosh. as well are uh, dishwasher safe and waterproof. Um, I, It's the one item that I bend out to somebody else to make for me because they can be made such high quality. And uh, so I send them my illustration and they, they make them out of vinyl that way so they can, um, and I've tested it, I've run them through the dishwasher and they are great. Let's take a look at some of your art stickers. We have gone to the art. So this is, what am I, what am I looking at here in this little, why is there a keyboard at the top? What is this oh, showing it's a me? Laptop. Um, they, you can use them on lap because they're vinyl. You can use them on just about anything. Oh, or laptop. Ooh, I love this hummingbird. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. These are really cool. And uh, hopefully, though, you when you tested these out, you did not put them onto your laptop and then run that through the dishwasher. No, no. I, <laughs> I chose one of my children's water bottles instead. <laughs> so where do you take the inspiration from for your work? What is What inspires you most? Absolutely. So I use a lot of photo reference. Um, I don't generally use one photo for any given piece, um, but I'll use several so that it, it turns into something unique. I have to say, usually when I sit down to sketch my initial ink drawing sketch evening, um, it doesn't necessarily begin as a concept that I have a good handle on. It kind of morphs as I sketch into something unique. So. Um, I might be, for example, here's a here's a mushroom print that I did. Um, I might start out sketching a mushroom and then something about it will really inspire me to do something more unique with that illustration. Let's see. And these are some of those right here now that we're looking at. Those are some so, of those uh, there. I also have a watercolor set of mushrooms as well. Um, I do a lot of I'm based out of the Pacific Northwest in Washington State, so I do a lot of Pacific Northwest themes things as well as uh -huh. um, my fantasy artwork. You are in my territory, my yes. territory. <laughs> All of the states in my territory. Yep. <laughs> oh, these are cool. I love these. Thank you. Everything is. You're very, in fact, very bright and vibrant. I love it. I like so I was going to say or ask, I think, um, could you say, because you said that you post a lot of things on your social media and Instagram, what is your Instagram handle for our viewers at home? Absolutely. It is pink polish design. And okay. then all one word there. All one word. And my Facebook is facebook.com slash pink polish design. Great. I shall have to, I'm not logged in here, but when, when I, when we are done today, I shall have to come and give your store, give your store a favorite. No, fantastic. One store, one store to another. Yes, definitely. So this is great. Now, um, I don't, I don't know if I heard back from you on the magic word, if that was something that you are participating in today. So I it are set up. <laughs> That you don't, I don't okay. to participate in that. I did plan on doing a giveaway. Oh, okay. Like here and now, you mean? Uh, not sure. 
<laughs> okay. Well, um, for the magic word, all we ask is that if our viewers, if they shop with you for the next week, they use the magic word of verdant and they just put it in the comments, which um, does, doesn't have to be set up as a coupon or anything in your Etsy. They can just leave a, a comment to the seller and they use that magic word. And if you would like to participate, then that just means that you're going to give them a special little bonus treat if they shop with you this week. That sounds great. Will well, do. awesome. Okay, then you are on for the math. That makes every single vendor today is on for the magic word. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, it is very exciting. So we are coming up on your 10 minutes. And so everybody who is watching at home, all of her information is in the low bar. Give some likes and some follows and some hearts on Etsy. And please, uh, please go out and beautify your environment. Yeah. with wonderful art. So thank you so much for being on the show this afternoon. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Yay. All right. We are cruising right along today. This is good. Let's see here. Up. Oh, ooh. Uh-oh. Maybe I spoke too soon. I do not see our next vendor in the wings. Hoo-hoo. Uh-oh. Well, folks, I do not see our next vendor in the wings. And you know what that means? I am so rhymey today. I think it's because our uh, our movie that we did earlier, earlier this month, the end of last month, it premiered last night for the uh, 48 hour Sacramento Film Fest. And that was very cool. So now we're in, now we're in the voting time. And uh, whenever this happens though, because it does occasionally happen that I, we have a vendor that does not make it. I am prepared. So we have a little 10 minute spot to fill and I shall fill this 10 minute spot by drawing cards for you guys today. These are Oracle cards. Uh oh, I see someone coming in. Who is it? Is it our person? No, it is not. However, let us, let us see if they should, the vendor after the missing vendor should like to go first. We'll ask. Hello, are you there, Christina? Hi, I'm here. I know it's a little bit before your time, but it would appear that the vendor who is supposed to be in this time slot did not make it today. And so would you like to have a little extra time to go now? Sure, that's fine. Okay, great. Then we will just go ahead and forego the cards and move right on to you. Thank you so much, Christina. You are with Creative Snugglies and I'm just gonna pull up your information to go here in the low bar. So please, if you will, introduce yourself to our viewing audience at home and tell us who you are, approximately where you're from. I don't expect your actual street address. Uh, <laughs> and uh, what, what it is that you do. Awesome. Um, I'm Christina with Creative Snugglies, and I crochet toys, so I hand make toys uh, completely on my own. My husband helps with the website, and my kids like to be in pictures and help do stuff like that. And we live in Bremerton, Washington, so... Ah, you're in my backyard too. Yay! Yes. Yes. So many people from my backyard today. <laughs> so um, we're just really excited that you're doing this, especially since we haven't been able to have any shows and we don't know when we'll be able to have any in the near future. So I, I crochet every day um, and create, I create snuggly toys for boys and girls. That's what I do. And my kids are my inspiration. So it allows me to still be a homemaker, but still also help financially, you know, with little stuff and stuff, you yeah, know, hey, things like that. Every penny counts. So, <laughs> every, yeah. Every penny counts. And it is many streams that make a river. So do you have some of your creations with you there to show to us today? I do. I'm going to, I'm going to embiggen you here. I just made this. Last week, I think it was, finished it, and it's inspired after my daughter, Bella. She has dark skin and dark hair. She's got curly hair. And I have the matching doll to go with it. So it's a lovey and the doll 
where you can Aww. separately or as a set. So, so now them. I'm curious, are these guys machine washable? Yes, ma'am, they are. They go lovely in the washing machine. And even the dryer, I usually keep it on low temperature or you can lay them out to dry. So, and the, the best part about it too is if you step on the kids' toys, then you don't hurt your feet. So we even have lovely dinosaurs on our website and, and everything. So we love that our toys are soft and we embroider the eyes and the face so we don't use safety eyes. So it's good even for babies and toddlers to carry around. And of course we have all kinds of sea animals since we live by the ocean. Uh, we have added those. And so we have all different kinds of things. We have an owl lovey. I have little loveys on there. I have little pocket pals where there's a little ball oh, inside yes. and they fit right inside. So I have fun making all of these kind of things. It's that is adorable. So I really enjoy what I do. And especially since right now I'm teaching my first grader or helping teach my first grader, I should say. We have one more week of school. So Lisa that allows well, this, us to still do that. This is amazing. And so you design, can we take a look at your store, your Absolutely. web store? Okay. So we, let me pull that up here really quick. get in so you make all of the designs for these yourself yes i use different patterns and i try to um credit them in my listings and i probably have to go back in there and and add them again because i always think i add them and then you know you get busy doing all different kinds of things but i get inspired by people's patterns i'm still trying to i'm eventually going to get there to make my own patterns as well but my daughter, everything I make, my daughter wants to have one of, if that makes sense. Every color. Uh, every yes. <laughs> I love these little sprout guys that are kind Thank of, they're you. sort of like mandrake. Yeah. But, oh, I have a hair. I'm sorry. Uh, they're, they're so adorable. And look at you have a mermaid, yes. some orcas, or dolphins, a narwhal. Yeah. What? Yes, a narwhal. We had to have a narwhal. So we're constantly trying to add. We have a lot of things in our shed. My husband just has to finish taking pictures of. So there's always more to add on, as well as me still creating. <laughs> so I love it. These are great. Thank oh, you. Look, a baby blanket. Yes. Those These are, are just good. super cute. And so what kind of, uh, if I may, what kind of yarn do you use for this? Is it yarn that you use? Yes. Am I getting that right? Okay. Yes. I, I mainly use, I love this yarn by Hobby Lobby. It is my favorite yarn to use because it's the softest to work with. And it holds up really good. So it's the toys are really, really soft. Sometimes I use Red Heart with Love. You know, especially since we've been in quarantine and I've had to get yarn however I can besides using things in my stash. I use Lion Brand as well a little bit. But yes, uh, I love this yarn. It's my favorite yarn to use. And I've been ordering on HobbyLobby.com since I can't go to Hobby Lobby. So that's been interesting. <laughs> I'm not, oh, I thought I was, I thought I was pulling up something apparently different than I think I just got. Oh, I shared the wrong screen. It's Oops. okay. <laughs> I, I reshared your store. I'm trying to uh, get a, I'm trying to look at one of these mermaids here close up. Yes. Let me see if I can get the right screen. And I use variegated yarn with the mermaids uh, because it's just fun to use. So mermaids always vary 
with the yarn just because I like using all the different colors. And that's made with the Landscape Lion Brand yarn. The body of it and the tail. I and like this whole fiber. ombre effect that's happening. Yes. My daughter. How, approximately how big is this? this? That is about, let me look that up because I do know, it should say on there somewhere. Let me see if I can I pull it up. Let's see, we've got a description right here. It should say. It says 17 inches long, eight inches across yes. and three inches tall. Yes. It's a nice, nice good size mermaid to go on any adventure. Those and you know, so the cool thing about this is since they're safe for the washing machine, you actually could take the mermaid, like she could get wet, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you were in a pool or a stream or something to that effect, you, yeah. you know, your kiddie pool, she can, she is safe to splash around with you. Yes. Ooh, look at this, a little bonus that you have mm -hmm. there. <laughs> yes, and we, we, we are uh, trying to send out our email either once a week or once every couple of weeks. And we concentrate on a different toy. So we call it Cuddle of the Week. So we highlight a different toy each time. And so uh, you also are participating in the magic word, if that is yes. correct? Yes. Please. Okay, so... That is excellent. The magic word this week is verdant. And uh, that means anybody who would like to shop with you this week can enter that in the checkout comments when they go to checkout and they will receive some manner. Oh my gosh, yes, a this is what they'll turtle. receive. It's a small little turtle. It's smaller than my other ones that are in the shop. Um, it's adorable. They're all different, so. I have some that are variegated and some that are just green. And so it just depends on what I put in there. There's a different one. And here's another different one. So they're they all are adorable. They're all unique and different. So even if I try to make them the same, they always end up unique and different. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's handmade. That's kind yeah. of what makes this special, right? Exactly. So um, all of your information, like everybody before you and everybody who will come after you, is in the low bar. And, of course, has been going there at the bottom of the screen in the ticker. Is there anything you'd like to say to our viewers at home before you go today? No, just thank you so much for having me. And I enjoyed being here with all of you and I hope everyone has a great Sunday and stay safe. Yes, definitely. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for joining okay. us thank and uh, enjoy, yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right. So, Alas, we have one one missing vendor, and that makes me sad. But I do see our next vendor in the wings, and I hope we'll be okay. Going a little early, we'll ask. Let's let's see. Is it yes? We're okay with going a little bit early. Look at you! You look great. Thank you. All right. So, uh, welcome. Uh, you are Grant. I am Grant of Leon Fur. Yep. And I am also SCA. Right, well, uh, so Grant, shout um, out. tell us. Yeah, so uh, I'm an SCA vendor. Um, I have been doing fur for the last about almost five years now. Shout out to my earlier SCA vendor, to my neighbor down in the south, Calentier. I come from Northfield, so I'm your northern neighbor. I have a special place for Calentier, and we've got a lot of stories and things that I've made that have come your way, and I've gotten some things from your kingdom as well. So thank you, neighbor. Um, I'm here to kind of go over a lot of the fur products that I source. You know, I've really grown into kind of more of a supplier of materials. So if you wanted to make something out of fur, although I can do that for you, I've just become so busy and so much bigger that I don't have a lot of time to get custom work done, even though I will take on a little bit of it. 
but we do teach classes and I'll sell you the material and any purchase comes with free consulting and teaching on the side. So if you did want to make an ermine neckline or ermine trim like this particular garment, I would most certainly sit down with you and show you how to do that. I've done Zoom classes, live classes, uh, and the like. So we're gonna can, go I, a couple can, I am, can I am yep. digging you so that you have the whole camera here? Because I see you've got a great setup looking going on behind you there. Yeah, yes. Well, what is, um, if I may, what is ermine? Ermine is the short-tailed weasel. So it is this white weasel with the black tip. And it is generally reserved for royalty, especially in the 14th century and 15th century. When sumptuary laws came in, it's an extremely expensive historical fur. It's not super cheap modernly either, just because of how tiny they are. It takes a lot of them. So this particular garment has a neckline. It's got cuffs. And then all of the hemline is all done in ermine. And I think uh, this particular garment took slow. 45 skins. Real slow when you're in front of the camera to show us okay. things so that the camera can just has time to catch up. Yeah. There we go. And man, the fabric on that is great too. You made that whole thing. That's yep. great. Silk and then the lining is also silk. So it's silk and silk and fur. That is so cool. So I've gotten the nickname in my kingdom as the official supermodel of North Shield. <laughs> the official supermodel. <laughs> well, sachet for us, Shante. <laughs> huzzah! <clears throat> if you guys are watching at home, you had better huzzah that like button right now. He actually did that. <laughs> yeah, it's a long, funny story. No story for another time. But what I'm going to do is going to go over some of my products. Um, there is, a, you can see across the bottom, I've got both my web store and my Facebook page. Uh, web stores kind of go to see a lot of my regular products. Uh, however, I do have a lot of stuff kind of coming in and out that's very new. The fur industry and the fur market is very cyclical. It is very here today, gone tomorrow. So if there's anything you really want to be on the bleeding edge of what I have that's brand new, uh, definitely follow us on our Facebook page. So first things, some of the new stuff. We just got these in yesterday by popular demand. Uh, foxtails. Now these came in much larger than I expected. I've got a couple of them that are over 20 inches. You can see they're about the length of my arm. These are not yet on the website, but they are on my Facebook page. So best way to get a hold of me is just to either email me through my website or message me through my Facebook page. Uh, some other fun things that are quite popular are my leopard skins and my tiger skins. Now what these are are sheep skins dyed to look like leopards and tigers. Obviously I can't sell the real thing um, and that's a good thing. But what we have in Saturday is very soft sheepskins, which also keeps the price down because it's obviously not the real deal, but it's nice and hardy, waterproof. I have personally soaked one of these in water for an hour and then rubbed it on white linen, no bleed. So I can you know, assure you that these are going to not bleed on your lovely garb. Uh, if you ever wanted massive foxes, this is one of our massive triple extra large white fox they're anywhere from 65 to 70 inches long we've got them in white we also have them in blue like seven inches long is taller than i am oh yeah these are these are beasts they are <laughs> absolutely massive uh, a couple new products that we just got in as of yesterday Let's see if i can get these on the camera our wild cross fox this is a red fox mixed with a silver fox, wild caught. And then if you ever got into wanting to do your own sewing, but you didn't want to have to sew a bunch of skins together, we offer plates. So these are effectively sheets of fur. So this particular one is called Minivare, which are squirrel bellies, an extremely historically correct fur for the 12th, 13th, 14th, and up to the 15th century. Um, these are squirrel bellies. You get about 69 skins per plate. Holy smokes. Regular bear, which is the full squirrel. Also very popular. And then for the budget conscious, we even picked up or started making demi bear, which are just half bellies all sewn together. I have never seen such a thing. It pops up all over. If you really start studying medieval history and medieval fur work, you start seeing it quite a bit once you know what you're looking for. And that's how this business started. I just 
became a costuming nerd. I uh, did a lot of research and started looking at things and kind of looked out and saw that, you know, not many people or anybody was supplying this stuff. And that's when I started Leon Fur. I noticed that there was a opportunity to supply a market that was not being served. So I went ahead and jumped in. Other things you can get, these just got these in yesterday as well. These are Minnesota Bobcats with a lovely spotted belly. Nice dark backs. And then if you did want to have products physically made, we do make these Nordic Roos hats. This is Ooh, 100%. Slow, slow, slow. All right, there we go. Ooh, nice hound's yep. tooth. Yep, so we got that. And then this is a nice, I make these in both Tanuki or uh, Silver Fox. So I've got the selection of both, different couple, different fabric colors. Or Did you say Tanuki, in... like Tanuki Mario? Yeah, that's where that comes from. I did not know that that was actually a real thing before it was a Mario thing. I mm -hmm. feel very silly at this exact moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. And then if you if you live, so I'm from Minnesota where it gets very, very cold in the winter. And when we had the polar vortex two seasons ago and it got to 50 below, this was my hat. These are my Wabans or Wicked Warm Badass Nordic hat. It is a sheep's leather top with a premium fox trim. And the entire inside is all shearling. So this is wool oh. on sheep skin, about a centimeter thick. See all the handwork on there. So I do make some stuff, just not a lot because I get busy. And then these hats are ones that I designed. These are rabbit fur ushankas. The ear flaps come down. Again, if you come in anywhere in the very, very cold, like Minnesota, these are great. Um, and then we got a, you know, a bunch of different plates. So if you wanted they look an entire, so warm. if you wanted an entire blanket out of that blue fox. There we go. We can make that as well out of plates. Um, and then another thing too, just with with my line of work, if there's anything where you're like, man, I wish they had this or man, I really wanted that, you know, reach out to us. Just because we don't have it on our website or we don't have it on our Facebook doesn't mean that it's either not already in the works and it's on its way, or I can make two phone calls to a, my wide suppliers and, you know, get those things in hand. So just because you don't see anything, don't, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you know, and if it's something that I don't have, then I can go find it for you. You know, we don't know to stock it until st people start asking. So uh, shall we take a look at your website here for a minute? Sure. Go right ahead. All right. Let me get that pulled up. Now, what is the best way for people to contact you if they're looking for something or want something? Um, yeah. Is it Facebook or here on your website? Both will work just fine. So if you go to my Facebook page and then send me a private message, those usually get respond to within 20 minutes on average. Um, and if you go to the contact us section on our website, it shoots me an email and I will generally get those responded to same business day. So now I'm, I'm now I'm a, I'm curious because you mentioned early on so where to use fur? And you mentioned early on that you do uh, how-tos and tutorials. Can you yep. actually elaborate on that a little bit yeah. more? Because I think that's a, a that's a pretty cool bonus service that you offer there. Yeah. So I, I recently, so like in the SCA, I teach a lot of classes, a lot of hands-on classes in the SCA. But obviously, with COVID and everything else going on we are not able to have events. So I asked on my Facebook page, like if I hosted a live Zoom class, would people be interested? And I had a lot of people respond to that. So I think it was two weekends ago now, I hosted a live introduction to fur, what tools do you need, how to make trim, what stitches you need to do, uh, and just kind of the how-to, the basic how-tos on fur. And that was about an hour and a half class that we did, but I also have it recorded and I posted it on my Facebook page. So if anyone is interested in viewing that class, it is on my Facebook page and I am in the process of writing up uh, more advanced fur work. If you wanted to do something like ermine, you wanted to do necklines, trims, uh, if you wanted to line an entire garment or make a blanket, you know, there's a little bit more tips and tricks to go along with that. And that'll be kind of my next series of classes. So I started with the basic and then we're gonna get more advanced as we go. Or if, you know, for example, I just had a customer today pick up a bunch of custom made trim. Um, so with that customer, I will obviously ship out the product. There's the trim actually, ironically, right there on the page. 
Um, and with that, I said, you know, if you have any questions on fur or need anything, just let me know. We can schedule a time, you know, maybe as a Zoom call for an hour and I can kind of walk you through the basics uh, and really teach how to use fur. Because I think fur is one of those those mediums that not a lot of people obviously have experience with. It's not cheap. So people are afraid to cut into it and screw something up, but it is actually extremely forgiving and really quite simple to do fur work. It's just a matter of kind of knowing those tips and tricks. So with, with us, we're kind of more of a SCA teaching first business second. So if you did want to learn how to make anything or how to do something, or even wanted to learn like, Hey, I do 15th century. What's even appropriate for me. Uh, we, we offer all of that for you. Well, I, uh, I definitely applaud your using modern day technology to keep the, uh, to keep the past alive. <laughs> so, uh, e even if your work is of the archaic sorts, your methodology is not, I applaud that. Thank you. Uh, how, if people wanted to join in on these zoom things where uh where is the best zoom things tutorials and lessons where is the best place that they can go to do that so i have two you can follow me on my facebook page facebook.com forward slash leon fur and then if you really want to i also have it's not sponsored by leon fur it's sponsored by my sca persona but i have a private SCA unofficial furriers, tars, and skinners page where all we talk about is just how to do fur. Um, obviously, with the nature of fur, it is behind lock and key and it is private. Uh, but if that is something that you are interested in and you're not squeamish to the process of fur from start to finish, um, you know, we can certainly just reach out to me through that Facebook page and ask for an invite. And I can certainly send that link or send an invite to that group. Um, but then if you want to just kind of stick with specifically fur sewing, follow me on the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash the own fur. That is where I will announce when we're doing the class. And that is where we will post the recorded classes as well. That is awesome. I, it's so cool that you are doing that. Uh, just, I just think that's great. <laughs> so, Thank you. um, yeah, uh, let me see. Uh, is there... It looks like we're um, looks like we're coming up. So two minutes, I guess, till your time. I don't see our next vendor in the wings, though. So um, we can either we can either continue to go for a little bit here. If you is there something that you would like me to particularly take a look at, or um, well, I can try to pull up your Facebook page if you like. Yeah, try and maybe do that so people can kind of see what that looks like. And then if anyone has questions too, I got another screen behind this screen with the chat up. So feel free to put in any questions or comments or anything in the chat. I am actively keeping an eye on that. Uh, I saw one comment on the white fox. I will promise you it is the largest, softest, best valued fox um, that you will pick up. little selfish pug uh, on that one. But that's another piece too with what I stock. You know, fur has a number of grades and I have spent a lot of time, effort, and money learning what that means. Um, and we really target kind of that best value. Am I gonna sell you the very nicest pelt in the market? No, because it's gonna cost way too much. If you want it, I will get it. Uh, but we're also gonna sell the garbage either. We really find that kind of that middle ground of where reenactors and, and SCA folk and, and rent festers, like where is they're gonna get something that's really nice without paying really nice designer quality for because you know you can get top lot and then you can get sub top lot and that sub top lot is sometimes half as much as the top lot because everyone wants the top lot to say this designer jacket is made with the best fur in the world well we'll just get seconds and thirds and it's still way nicer than anything that we actually really need for what we're doing um but then when you kind of compare it to some of their online vendors it's like wow this is a much nicer item than what I you know, could have paid more for online. So that's kind of our selfish little plug there for our sourcing and, and you know, you'll notice my website's nothing special. I run a very low overhead business in order to give the best prices to you rather than inflating my prices to pay for more overhead. Let's see, here we go. Uh, I, think I, I think I've got this, my share on the screen. It's coming. It's loading. Mm, I am. Hey, Yay. that's us. There it is. Uh oh. Yes. <laughs> hey, there you are. Okay. I often, I often don't like to do Facebook because people always seem to message me <laughs> when I when I get on the Facebook. So, 
Um, so if, if somebody does message me literally as we're showing, I will close this down. Uh, <laughs> that's awkward. And I, I can't really stop it. So, uh, but here is your Facebook. Hey, look, you posted about the show today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And so here, so this is where people would go. And this is also where you post about your, is now you said that you upload your videos. Is that in the video section here? You know, that's a great question. I'm not sure where it is, but I know it's on there. And I just posted it the oh, other day, so that's that a good one? question. Oh, that's a that? lining. Wow, that's it. It's like the old fashioned, like a, you think like old King Cole kind of with the big purple robes and and like that's that's what that made me think of, you know, that has like that's the big. Cup. It's oh, ermine. That's well. exactly what this is made out of too. It was a status symbol and a luxury symbol. Uh, because of how many little weasels it took to make anything that only the richest of the rich could afford it, which is why it becomes that status symbol. I love the little skunks. Oh, I love skunks. Skunks are my totem animal, one of them anyway, but um, uh, they are adorable. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I see our next vendor actually in the wings. And so, yes. Um, so thank you so much for sharing. Oh wait, I do not see our next vendor. Our next vendor was just there. <laughs> uh, they might be having connectivity problems now Now that I'm saying that. Uh, I was gonna say, thank you so much for joining us today. Your knowledge about all of this is really awesome. And uh, uh, shout outs to all of your peoples and kingdoms and all that good stuff. So uh, you are participating in the magic word as well. Yeah. And so the magic word, just as a reminder for everybody out there, is verdant. And uh, you should enter that at checkout comments um, when you make an order or place an order uh, so that so that he knows you have, he, this is where he knows that you found him through our shows. Yes. Uh, so is there anything that you would like to say before we let you go today? Now, what I think I'll do, just because, you know, first, obviously not cheap to give away, but what I will do is I will cover all domestic shipping between now and the next week. So if you place an order, uh, I'll cover the shipping for you. If you place it through the website and it charges you the shipping, again, just use the magic word, message us the magic word, whatever. I will refund it after it ships or just reach out to me directly and say, hey, you know, I saw the magic word. I would like two of the white fox, one of the blue fox, whatever. And then I can create an invoice and cover that shipping, uh, any domestic shipping to the USA, international shipping, if you are international we will work something out. Uh, maybe we'll split it halvesies. We'll figure something out because I want to make sure that our international folks get um, their fair share as well. Awesome. You are most generous. Do, do, what, is, what is your official SCA name? Uh, Goudefroy du Lyon. Goudefroy du, du, du Lyon. Lyon. Du Lyon. That is in Lyon, France. That's correct. And c'est Lyon fur. <laughs> There it is. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us and You're enjoy welcome. the thank rest of your Sunday. Me. Absolutely. Bye-bye. So I, that was awesome. Those furs are amazing. Oh my gosh. And uh, of course, all of the information is for Leon Fur is in the low bar and you can click on that. It will be there uh, for the duration of this video. Uh, the links there so you can reach out and contact them and shop if you want. I saw our next vendor in uh, in the wings, but I don't see them now. And that, that leads me to wonder if they're having a connectivity issue because they were there briefly and now they are not. So we have a six minutes left of the show today. And I figure, uh, it, just in case they come on, I'm willing to go over the time a little bit. I don't want to. I don't want to log the show until I know for sure. So I will. I I I have the opportunity once more. I thought I did. Oh wait, no, nope, there she is. I see her. I see her. Okay. I'm her sorry. Trouble with my internet. <laughs> there you are. It's okay. It's uh, it's okay. Um. Sorry, I, my cat knocked something off on the side here and I'm like, oh, what fell? Okay, so 
Welcome. I'm so glad you, that you made it. Hooray. And please introduce yourself to our audience. Tell us who you are, Hi. where you're from, and what your business is about. Hi, my name is Lana. I'm originally from Ukraine. I'm currently living in Soda Springs, Idaho. And I'm sorry if you will have trouble with my accent if I'm talking too fast. Just it's okay if you <laughs> tell me, okay, stop, repeat it, please. Yeah, no, I know I have an okay. accent. <laughs> Everybody has an accent. Accent, you can see me from my outfit. <laughs> yes, uh, Don't let me in big you. Ears like you are. So uh, I'm doing medieval reenactment for like more than decades, and I start from selling other people goods. And for a couple of years, I start making myself stuff by myself. It's uh, some band waving looms unfortunately you will not see any tonight because i don't have a done one and some medieval pretty much medieval and early medieval jewelry and some and craft and a bit knife knives knife sexual pretty much making my husband and i <laughs> take it from him because he's been so busy to make an armor and I want to have some nice uh, medieval, early medieval knives. So now, I'm start making you, them. Um, where do you normally sell? Uh, what is your, are you Renfair? Are you SCA? Are you both? There could be overlap. Uh, normally, I usually, I give tell you a secret. Normally I sell in the summer pretty much in Europe. The problem is I live oh, wow. in Idaho and it's far away for me to go to Europe and for me to go to <laughs> some big events. It's cost pretty much the same. And I still have a family in Europe. So this year is probably my the biggest. I try to beat local AC events. I try to beat local Renfer. I think this year I'm getting so much <laughs> stuck that I'm already ready to go anywhere. And I think I will try some, maybe in the winter, in the fall, some AC events, some Renfers in US. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> well, once once we can do events again, at least anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like everybody's everybody's getting canceled and it's terrible. So can I ask a question here now? The outfit you're wearing, what are these these things upon your shoulders? Oh, brushes. That actually would not be this one. The Finnish style brushes. Originally, they're supposed to be different, but <laughs> they it's my pretty much new outfit. It's my actually first try on. <laughs> Because everything canceled and I start making it for this year and <laughs> my damn luck as soon as you get a new outfit. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you get a new one, now you don't you don't get to wear it. So uh, shall we take a look at your website? Oh yes, please. Uh, would you would you or do you have things to show us to the camera? Oh I have things to show. So I can Okay, show I will stuff. I will turn the screen over to you and uh yeah. let you do some show like, and tell here for a while. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I will start from stuff that not so much present in my Etsy so far, only this one. It's a okay, knife. Oh, just, yeah. If I can't say uh yes. Uh, very oh, slow, yeah. like so, the camera has to okay, happen. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to adjust to camera. So it's an uh, early medieval knife that made in tandem with my husband, who actually been one of running up contestant of uh, Forged and Fire. So, but this one actually blade made by myself, and so far it's only one that I have on my Etsy. I have a couple more, and here I have another one, but I've been too lazy to put it on Etsy so far. So, what is the, the what is the available. scabbard, or what is the scabbard made oh, out of there? Scabbard is a leather with brass work. So it's pretty much uh, how they did it in early medieval ages. And it's actually pretty smart because I used to have one of my knives just in leather scabbard. And the problem have with knife sharp, this point where it starts broken out. And this is actually not just making it fancier. It's also protect from. And so how do those attach to a belt or a... Um... Oh, 
this one is have ring here so you can attach pretty much the brush that i have that it can be also wearing the brush over here on the different time and you can just put chain even from this brush you can put oh. chain or you can just put it on the some hook to the belt and another one have a little bit different attachment so wherever you can you ah oh, sorry i'm trying to adjust it <laughs> the uh, camera's backwards i know <laughs> or you can put some leather string and also hang it how you want to hang it okay that makes perfect sense yeah what else i have i also have <laughs> probably one left my brushes silver uh, it's made of stellar link silver via the stones it's more like oh. late medieval stuff so hold it very still hold it very still so the camera yeah, has I'm, a second to focus yeah there i'm trying <laughs> It sort of looks like lapis, kind of, that's in there. Yes, it's a lapis. You're right. It's lapis and uh, amethyst. So big one is lapis and mm -hmm. smaller one is amethyst. And sterling silver, I have it available at my Etsy. And I, right now, in process, make more brushes. Unfortunately, with all this coronavirus stuff, I've been stuck for a while without silver because my supplier just <laughs> was very slow to send. Okay, and I want to show another fancy stuff. This is more like Slavic. It's a headband that oh. you can use. Uh, originally, if you go on for the reenactment point, it's a Slavic one, but of course you can use it for multiple if you're doing something fantasy you probably can use and it's also i'm trying to make all these natural materials so this one is silk and cool part about this it will go actually with a uh, ribbon handmade so you can adjust it to oh. any style of hat just using ribbon pretty much and this is silk with the pearls and inside if you can see inside here it's a glass and corals inside of which oh, of this mount pretty. is yeah so it's kind of complicated design and i think but it's, it's cool lovely that it's all made and the original and another headband it's you probably you very rarely see it here because this one is based on like fina ugaric uh, mm, tribals and i actually don't know so much people in us who's doing this region but it's also pretty cool it's made also I try to make all my when i do in headband i try to make them all adjustable for different size because you never know even if one person buying today you are wearing one uh, style of hair tomorrow different and <laughs> i want that if you like stuff you always can wear it so it's actually made of four bunch of uh stra brass stripe attached to oh, wow. the leather yeah so it's oh my gosh, you did great. every one of those little things individually like that yes it's actually not so hard it's more boring because you're just using a flat <laughs> piece and then you will have to bend each of them and to... very monotonous <laughs> yes and but i how think i would do that yeah another thing i will probably yeah show both of them one of them so this actually adds a temple ring it's again as probably you've seen and everybody who been on my web page seems that i'm doing a lot of like slavic reenactments oh surprise surprise i am <laughs> by myself slavic so my passions passion kind of go so this is a temple rings and I would say they have pretty interesting stories. So because I'm from Ukraine and we usually know more about like Eastern Slavs, but there are Western Slavs and a couple of years ago, I've been in the van. a question really fast? I, I don't know the word mm -hmm. that those are what? Temple rings. It's a Slavic. You probably seen it. Some lady, especially SC popular, they're wearing on the headband over here. Ah. So you usually see some... <laughs> don't have right now when you finish it so but it's pretty much you attach like this oh okay i did not realize that was a th i mean i've seen the look you're talking about but i didn't mm -hmm. 
I guess I don't, I didn't realize that they were their own separate thing. Yes, they actually all separate thing. It's pretty complicated style. And some of the style actually including because they're wearing in the like hair, like you can braid them in your hair and wear like part of the, especially when you have a long hair. I don't have a They're really, really long pretty. hair. Yes, but I, I really well, like them quite a lot. Yeah, but this one is actually, have, so a couple of years ago, I met this wonderful lady from Germany who is doing part of the what he's doing for enactment it's western slavs and she told that there are not a lot of funding so i come back from a band of go on the internet and found this one and i finally like this fall made this Temple. And are those available in your Etsy store as well? Yes, they are available and they, so I have them available, available in copper and I also making them in silver for the order. They actually take a lot of silver, so I pretty much, at least right now, because we don't know when events starting, mm -hmm. I don't keep them so much in stock and silver, but yeah, I'm usually making stuff also in sterling silver. And finally, finally, I be able to get it pretty fast. And so here is your Etsy store that we're mm -hmm. looking at now. And yes. we can see some of the, what are yeah. a small weaving shuttle? And these yeah. are your, now these are available. If, you know, if I knew yesterday that I will have broadcast today, I just sent yesterday a <laughs> full bunch of, not full bunch, but couple pretty cute shuttles to the client yeah no and so these things here you are uh these uh, this is like a cloak clasp is that what i'm looking yeah, at the, uh i don't actually have on my table a uh, cloak clasp i have another one pretty good actual pretty big one i have it on my so this is pretty much a good for clock i don't oh, know where wow. I else you can use yes it's pretty big one and i'm so far i'm not doing casting so all what i'm making it's a chisel work it's uh, some metal stamps uh, it's cutting it's all make by hand i of course using sometimes power tools but pretty much big biggest work making without yeah so I have also some actual earrings you just uh, saw they over here like for example okay. one of them. In the oh i'm trying to stop them yeah they kind of look they kind of look like amber no it's not amber it's actually this one is uh carnelian so now unfortunately it's not amber <laughs> I'm hope next time I will come back home to Ukraine. We have a lot of amber and cheap amber. So I, I hope I will get some and we'll start make more stuff with amber. Because now. So these are, right now, this is just really, it, what is this thing? A, ta a tablet loom. What is a, a tablet loom? It's a loom for okay. make narrow band. So I have right now actually on uh, me, I'm trying to show, so it's not my work. It's actual, oh, it's not, oh, trying to get it here. So for example, this is narrow, my belt is very narrow and bent like this, you can make on that loom. So it's making for had a, oh, you know, in America, very popular Inca loom. And I like Inca loom, except for, Unfortunately, I never was okay. I never was be able to find track them to the medieval stuff. And for me, I like do some huddle weaving on the events. So pretty commonly, I need something. Uh, I would like to have something more medieval than Inca loan. So this one is actually pretty cool because it's, if you will go through the pictures, you will see it's pretty much disassembled to almost nothing. And again, it's very important when you go to event because when you have yes. a nice loom, <laughs> then you put it in the car and accidentally somebody put something on your loom 
loom can tie it. So this is pretty much constructions that you can take wherever you go. You go to Renfer and want to do some weaving there. You go to Panzik, you go to BKC event, small IC event, you can take it and assemble it there. And now what is, uh, what is speaking of Penzik and other such things, what is your kingdom out there? Uh, um, I live in Artemisia. Ar <laughs> Artemisia kingdom, I don't know. Some, some of the words have really bad accents. Art I love it. That's a pretty name, Artemisia. Kingdom of Artemisia. Yes, kingdom of Artemisia. So shout out to all of the, all of the people out there from Artemisia. Yeah, no, this is, uh, I love this. This is really great stuff. That loom looks Thank fun. You. I always would like to try to weave, but I've I've never actually tried it. So uh, we are we are coming up then here on the end of our show. So thank you for coming on today. And you too are participating as are all of the vendors today in the magic word. So if people order from you within the next week on Etsy, they are to enter the magic word verdant. And that lets you know that they came from our show. And also they will get a surprise little bonus gift of, um, with their order. And oh, uh, is, there any, is there anything that you would like to say before we bid adieu for the day? Oh, I would like to thank you. <laughs> to say thank you for this opportunity <laughs> to invite me it was really kind of unexpected today but i'm really happy to be there and i wish everybody stay safe and <laughs> don't get sick and i hope all events will be run again soon and i also would like to say that this year it's no event but I probably met on the internet more people from US than I met uh, living, living here for because like six yeah. years. Yeah, I'm not so much social person, so, and I'm really, it's really bad that we right now all lock in our houses, less but still lock, but I'm really glad that I met so many wonderful people who do so many wonderful projects that probably if lockdown never happened, I would never <laughs> met these people online, mostly, but, and thank you for doing this. That's yeah, absolutely. Really no, thank you for coming on the show. And you, you managed to get it all together in very short notice. So that's all for you. <laughs> thank all you, right, thank lady, you. I uh, bid you adieu then for the evening and uh, mm -hmm. everybody just uh, please remember like subscribe shop shop with our awesome vendors and um, mm -hmm. I will see you I will see you all good night oh yes uh, we will we will be back we are on Sunday you know because what is time and what what are days uh, we shall be back again on Tuesday for Tuesday tea, and then on Wednesday again for Faye, our regular weekly Fay News show. And so thank you for joining us, everybody. The magic word is in the link in the low bar uh, below. And I hope all of you stay safe out there and, ha and have had a wonderful weekend. It has been rainy and stormy here all weekend with thunder. That's why I'm wearing gloves and long sleeves because I'm so cold today. But good night, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you.